So there's a stock turp ski. Damn. Very small. I think my fist is bigger than it. Hold on. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Car's gonna breathe better, bro. It's been choking its whole life. Oh, that looks so much bigger than <laughs> what it used to be. You got the big black the big inlet pipe. And this is why I don't do it. And it's, and it's not magnetic either. It's funny because all this for like a 30 second time lapse. <laughs> <laughs> Comes with the territory. We'll press OK to continue. We will turn off. What's up guys welcome back to another video so turbo inlet piping is finally on uh 271 turbo inlet piping awesome i ended up going back to a manual so that he can install everything for me yeah i know i probably couldn't install that myself but there's a specific bolt behind the inlet piping that there's just no way i was going to be able to get it i i believe i tried taking it off with Hector about a year ago when we were trying to do my downpipe because we were doing it wrong. <laughs> and we were just like, hey, we're not gonna be able to do it. And so I didn't wanna do that again. And yes, it is the race math. I have the race math, so it does have the bigger math, I guess is what you would say. Everybody was saying that you were not gonna feel a difference or if anything, feel a slight difference when it comes to having the race math versus the street math and also having a turbo in the piping on a stock turbo because yes i'm still on a stock turbo but this feels great this actually feels really good i'm not on a custom tune yet but we're going to talk about that in a bit what i am still running is the farable 2.5 flex view tune and that is with the race math obviously so my mods are all in the description for anybody who's going to be new to the channel now can i hear a difference with all this going on. Not really, my exhaust is pretty loud. I, I can't hear it, so even if I... That's map one. I can't really hear it, <laughs> but it pulled. It was nice and it pulled. I'm gonna switch it to map. I'm just gonna go straight to map three. I don't know why, but it feels a lot smoother. I haven't had any complaints. The drivability on the race map is great. You know, this past week and a half, almost two weeks, it's been nothing but rain in this damn California weather. And I'm sure everybody knows what I'm talking about. It, it was a lot like San Francisco got flooded. There was parts of LA they got flooded. Uh, some parts of the coast along the West Coast, along the 101, the PCH, a lot of stuff either got flooded, damaged, or whatever the case is. What I'm getting at is I couldn't really do this video earlier because this turbo inlet piping has been installed the day before I drove the Type R, the FL5. It's been that long. It's been like two, three weeks. And I haven't really had time because of the whole rain shenanigans and whatnot. So I waited until it finally gave up. Dude, I haven't washed my car in like a month almost. Like it's, it's been busy and or raining. December and January, it's crazy here. But anyways, the car feels great for what it is. I'll go ahead and do a little second gear pull right here. Oh yeah. nice 
if I had the PRL intake, I'm, I know for a fact everything would be louder up there in the front when it comes to sucking in air. <laughs> the 271 definitely is a little restricted when it comes to being a true cold air intake, but I have considered swapping over to the PRL intake only because I do want to take advantage of having an actual cold air intake versus a hybrid one. A little third gear action. It's nice. Yeah, dude, this is, it, it pulls in every gear. Uh, it, even in fourth gear, when I'm going 80, it still like wants to go. So I definitely do feel a difference when it comes to the turbo and the piping in the race math. So is it worth it? I feel like it is because I'm getting a custom tune so I can take advantage of all the mods that are done to my car. So speaking of that, I bought a custom tune. Um, it's actually going to be an ah. Uh, oh my god, I almost said off the shelf. It's actually going to be a custom E tune, and I went with Derek Robinson. So, no hate on John Vega. Both are fantastic tuners for what they are. Both make cars feel and drive amazing. But I've had the Farable off the shelf tune on both the Stage 1.5, 2.5, and then the 2.5 uh, race and they feel great, but I do want to try a Derek Robinson tune. I'm still waiting for my base map to come in. That way I can start data logging for him and I'll get all this going, but definitely going to be waking up the car right there. And so I can take full advantage of my mods. Now, Tony, why are you getting a custom tune if you were going to go big turbo? Well, because I kind of changed my mind. I feel like after driving this car, I realized I don't really push it to its limit to the point to where I'm begging for more power. I'm mainly getting this custom tune just so I can have the mindset of having a tune specifically for my car. If not, I would have just stayed with this variable tune until, I don't know, until I go bigger turbo. I've also realized I'm most likely gonna be doing the head studs first before I even go bigger turbo. So in the meantime, get a custom tune, have the peace of mind knowing that my car will be in great hands. I'm very curious to see what this car pushes. Well, at least what my car pushes. I know what these cars push, uh, relatively speaking, when it comes to an E30 blend on 91 or on 93. I've seen some custom tunes on 91 from like 245 wheel to about 300 foot pounds of torque. My car made 90 on 91 with a gallon of V85 to help with the knock control, made 241 wheel horsepower and 300 foot pounds of torque on the 1.5 tune. Could it have made a little bit more? Probably, but I didn't have my race math and I also did not have my turbo in the piping. Now, gains probably would have been minimal, but now that I'm on the flex view tune, I'm running E30. Right now, yeah, E30, 30% ethanol, I just checked right now. I've seen Derek Robinson and I've seen John Vega tune some, well, I haven't seen it, but like I read up upon like articles on Reddit, especially on their Instagrams. D-Rob is always posting on his Instagram page of how much this car makes after he dyno tunes it from the old school Honda to the new school Hondas, which is nice. So on an E30 blend, I've seen these cars go from 280 wheel to about 295 wheel run right there on E30, E35. And like torque wise, like 310, 320. But with that custom tune, he's gonna be able to give me a better torque curve and a better power curve overall. Cause I believe he's able to balance it and lower the torque so that it's not giving that much stress on the head studs and on the motor, basically. That's pretty good for me. I feel like that's a win-win in my situation. So I can't wait for that. How I'm gonna be doing the video, I'm probably going to be doing all of that in one video. That way you guys don't get one revision or one data log revision per video because I know the way it works is the faster he gets me my revision, 
And the faster I data log for him, the faster I will be able to complete the tune. With my work schedule, it's probably not going to be the best, but I'm going to do however and whatever I can to get it done as soon as possible on my end. And I know he's a busy man. Bro has a lot of revisions every single day. Bigger turbo, if for some reason I find a deal or whatever the case is, I'm not most likely not gonna buy a used, I'm gonna buy it new. Uh, but if for some reason I find a deal or something worth getting, then I'm gonna buy the turbo, but I'm probably not gonna install it until like I get the head studs, you know, just for the the peace of mind, you know. But yeah, I just wanted to explain my experience with the turbo inlet piping overall is it worth it i think it is definitely is going to uh, help me in the gains when it comes to getting the car tuned um i like i said i don't hear any difference but that's because i have a really loud exhaust i'm sure there's a difference when it comes to sound if i had a quieter exhaust so i know with people that have quieter exhaust you'll probably hear a difference but anyways guys thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in another one you guys have a good day peace